Merry Christmas, guys. This is Kathy with Kincaid Special Creations coming to you with another West Virginia Wednesday upload into YouTube. I am also including at the end of the video for West Virginia Wednesday, I am including the tutorial on how to make Mrs. Claus. If you'd like to get to that instead of watching the West Virginia Wednesday again, you can go to timestamp, I think it's 54. 07 or around 54 minutes that'll be when this one's over and the other one will begin and i want to wish each and every one of you a very very merry christmas and a happy new year and we'll see you in the upcoming uh new year with our challenge and all good stuff so you all have a wonderful year thanks for watching hello guys it's been a morning Trying to get ready for this, but I'm here. Just waiting around for everybody else to come in. So, how was everybody's week? Mine was hectic as usual. I had a few little this and that and the other to have to deal with. So, I was last minute this morning, as always, getting my stuff ready to go for my live. Real well. I got, I think I got Timmy in, both in the house and on the TV. <laughs> so, how was your day today, Tim? About as crazy as mine? Doing good, doing good. He's sitting here helping me so that when I get ready to do the, turn down to do the crafts, he'll be able to turn the camera down instead of me have to get up and walk all the way around and. I've got another one. Hello, how are you? Uh, just tap me a little comment. Let me know that you're here. I'm going to hit the refresh button on my computer to see if it brings me in live. Yeah, you got Carol Paxton watching. Hi, Carol. How are you today? So we're, uh, we're going to do what they call a bleach bottle Santa. I did a Mrs. Claus this morning, so um, we could try it out. She done okay. I had a few little, I'm doing a few little tweaks in doing it, so um, I'm hoping to get you up on my computer. Look there, I'm going. So now I can read comments. See if I can get this to Come up. Mandy always does this part for me. There we go. Yay. Hello, everybody. So. Let's just wait for just a few more minutes to see if we can get a few. Hello, Taylor. So. Um, you got Stacy Simmons. Hey, Stacy. Yeah, sometimes I need an extra hand or two because sometimes it comes up on mine. I don't sure what, why mine is coming in the way it is, but it does. So, and I have to use a different laptop than I normally use because we used mine at Sis's funeral. So, it's with my granddaughter Ebony, but we'll get it this week and I'll be back to feeling normal. I don't know if any of you guys do this, but if you have something just a little bit out of whack, and what you're doing just throws you off just a little bit till you regroup and bring it back together. That's where I'm at right now. Hey, Stacy. Glad you're stopping in to visit. I'm going to show you my Mrs. Claus um, bleach bottle. But don't laugh too hard because there she is. I did put her little glasses on. That was a request from Christy. And I'm going to put some more little decorations on her hat. But this is what we're going to be working on. I suggest if you try to repeat a Mrs. Claus that you put white on for her hair as well instead of gray. But I just had the white for the Santa Claus. So I thought, well, I'll make her a little gray-headed. But there's my Mrs. Claus glasses and all. So that's what we're going to work on today. It looks good. Looks good. So, just waiting just a couple more minutes. 
Um, may have to have Timmy text the girls, see where they're at. They must be busy. I'd say Christy's got a, a um, patient, and Mandy's at work today, so. so we're going to get started. Thank you, Stacy. It's not exactly, you know, one of those, it's one of those things I tried to find on the Internet. They had three people that done it, and two of the three people were doing the exact same thing. So it was a little hard, and they didn't give me any um, sizes or directions. They just put it together and said, okay, I'm done. So in addition to this West Virginia Wednesday, at the end of it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post the whole thing up on YouTube, and at the end of it, hi, Lou. At the end of it, I'm going to uh, put the tutorial for making the Mrs. Santa Claus. So you can see how many times I had to wrap it and, and a little bit more. So it'll be an extended version of the West Virginia Wednesday. But I'm going to do a sample here today for the Santa Claus. But if you need more in-depth, it'll be behind this one when it goes up on YouTube. Okay, so we're going to get started. Now what you need, these are the things that you're going to need. You're going to need the bleach bottle. Timmy was really kind of this morning and he cut mine in half. So when I say cut it from the top to the bottom, cut it in half, starting and go all the way around. And that way you'll have enough to make two. You can make two Santa Clauses. My uh, daughter Mandy suggested that we do a Grinch. And I may still do that. But this is the only bleach bottle I had. So I'm going to do this Santa Claus because it was requested by one of our viewers. Uh, one of the members of uh, the KSK. So, uh, Paul Round wants to join your video. Okay. I don't know how to do that. We won't go yet. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So now what we're going to do, Paul, um, you should be able to watch it without having to join in. But if you want to join in, buddy, we'll just hit it again and we'll see what we can do. Because... I'm not sure with the joining in video things. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take pink belt. This, oh, I was going to tell you how many this was before that happened. You need the bleach jug that's cut in half from the top to the bottom. A piece of pink felt. You can use pink cloth, too. It doesn't have to be felt. This is just for the face. So that it gives you a little bit of definition. And if you just want to leave the white background, that's fine too. You'll need two pieces of red felt. They come in 9 by 13 inch sizes. So they're a little bit bigger than a piece of paper. And we're going to give you the directions on how to cut the hat. So there's those two pieces. You'll need nine. I call them yarn loops. So you want to take and cut you out of a piece of cardboard. Cut you a... Three inch piece of cardboard and wrap it around this piece of cardboard. I'm going to show you how to do those in just a minute. 25 times. And then you're going to pull them and put this little pipe cleaner in there. But I'll show you how to do that because every one of them are done the same way. And then you're going to need eight six inch loops. You'll need two eight inch loops, two ten inch loops. And two 12, two 12 inch loops. Each one of those will be wrapped around a piece of cardboard 25 times. You'll bring them off, fold them in the middle, and then put that little pipe cleaner in. And I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. So, for what we're going to do first, is we're going to take our bleach bottle. Jimmy's going to turn me down so you can see the top of the table better. Hey, Danielle. Good. See if you can straighten it up just, just a smidge. Okay, there we go. All right, guys. So here is our... Um, that's good, Dad. Don't worry about it. This is uh, what we're going to do with this. We're going to take our pink piece of paper and our piece of cardboard that measures 6 by 3... Just take your piece of cardboard, take your pink stuff, and just take an ink pen and roughly draw around it. It doesn't have to be perfect. 
you just want it to stick inside this loop from this line to this line. That's all you want it to do. Just stick in there. So then we'll take cut that out. I'm going to personally hot glue mine on. You can feel free to use tacky glue uh, or anything like that. Bodge Pod worked, but it wasn't really the best. So if you want to use hot glue, that's fine. I'm just going to put a layer of hot glue around each side. Not really a a humongous amount because <coughs> Mandy's here. Hey, Mandy. As you can tell, every time I work with hot glue, I burn myself to pieces. If you've ever watched me on any of these shows, you know at some point I'm going to be. So that's going to be your face. And then we're going to take the two pieces of red felt. I've got one of them cut out. So I'm going to cut the other one. It's the same size. I tried doing it the sizes that they had mentioned on TV, but made the hat. You can see on Mrs. Claus, it made the hat too big. So I'm hoping that this is big enough. Okay. So what I'm going to do is run the layer of hot glue down the side here, right on the edge. I mean, just as close to the edge as you can get, because it's going to be a tight fit. So just put your... Hey, Chris. Glad you made it, baby. Well, that's good. You... You uh, you can always finish anything you didn't see whenever you do the uh, redo, but yeah. Like I said before, I'm going to put the making of the Mrs. Santa Claus on the back of this video when I switch it over to YouTube. So, um, okay, now see, so there's our hat. And hot glue and felt don't like each other very well, so just hold it down for a second. And don't get burnt. Don't be like me. I get burnt every time I mess with hot glue. Alright, so there we go. Now we're going to take our felt hat. We're going to kind of make it a little bit of a a spot like this, like a dunce hat, actually. And we're going to take and put it down over the top of the, the hat, or the head. And leave just a little bit of spot down underneath it, for because we're going to put holes down there. You'll see why the, that is in just a minute. So just put your hat on, take a little bit of felt, and put it on there. Now what I do, because the points shine out here, is I just put, pinch them in to the towards the back, pinch them in towards the back, and then hot glue them again. Well, they're not going to go, they're going to go towards the front, so we'll just leave them. Okay, so now, what you're going to do next is, I have this little tool here. It's called a Cricut tool for weeding. You could get something similar like this at Dollar Tree Store. It just has a really funky looking end on it, but it's a really good hole puncher. So, this paper I made to line up my holes that I want. I want nine across the top, one one up starting out the end. And you just poke it through. But poke it through all the way to because that thing is fatter on the top than it is on the bottom, so it'll let you uh, poke the holes in. I tried to do as much as I could ahead of time so this won't be so long, but there are still processes that you have to do. So I'm going to do the top ones. Get 
under that hat right there. Okay, so that's all along the top of it. You'll see my little holes. You'll see why they're there in just a minute. Okay, so back to the little three-inch uh, loops. Okay, what you do with them is you take your little three-inch piece of cardboard that you got. And you take you some white yarn, which I have sitting on a chair underneath me so it won't go rolling all over the floor. And you just put it up on the top of it like that and you wrap it around 25 times. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Then you slide it off. You hold it real tight. Take your scissors and cut the extra off. And this is a pipe cleaner. Now this is an actual pipe cleaner. It is made, as you can see, for cleaning pipes. I think I picked this up at a yard sale sometime, but they're just the right size for me to use, so that's what I am. But if you don't have these or can't find anything like that, just use regular Chanel stems and cut them in half. They will work just the same. You take and find the middle of your thing, and you put it up together, and you just twist it. You could use scissors. You could use a nail. You could use a drill if you really wanted to. I saw that would be a little overkill. But yeah, you could use your scissors. If you got a little uh, pointy, hey Savannah, a little uh, pointy pair of scissors, that would, anything that you can poke a hole with. A nail, a screwdriver, um, anything like that. And then this is what you end up with. It's just a little puffy, I call them my little puff balls. Anyway, so there we are with those. I'm going to make one more. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Hey guys, have you all heard about that big snowstorm that's supposed to be coming? Is it going to affect any of you guys? As pretty sunshiny as it is outside, I think they're lying to us, but you know. That may not be. We may wake up tomorrow with a big old snow or have, you know, I said I want to snow for Christmas and be gone by the day after Christmas. I might get my wish. And then just, just fold it in half and twist this in. Twist it in real tight because you're going to want them to be tight. Okay, and see, that's all there is to it. Now, you can go on and make all of yours like I have all mine set up here together to work with. You need two twelves, two tens, two eights, eight sixes, and nine threes. You can go ahead and have them all. Now, they get a little bit complicated if you ain't got them separated out, which I hope I still have. Then you'll need one eight inch size, just the exact same way. One eight inch size that you're going to make his mustache out of. You're going to put a little... You put a little red pom-pom. I just got one of those little base fillers that I'm going to make his little red nose out of. So, that's what we're going to work with. So, for his nose, of course, you'd put another little hole in there to hold the mustache in place. So, what you do with these is you take and put them together as tightly as you can because you're going to put both stems through the same hole. And just squeeze them in. And sometimes you might have to take something and make that hole just a little bit bigger. Like I've had to use my thingy to rub it around in there a little bit more to get it bigger. Because both of them have to go in. And they like to bend on you so they don't want to go in place. Is especially if you got one offset from the other. Okay, now there it's going. So then you're going to pull it in and just put it down. 
Okay, and we're going to keep going and put all these in. Go to your next hole and put the next two in. Once they get through, you can pull them from the other side if it ain't too tight. I'm beginning to think Manny's scissors idea would probably be a better one. But if you use this and you make the hole bigger, see some of these are pretty little holes, and then it should go in. And you just keep putting them in till you get them all there. I would have had this done except right at the last minute I had some technical difficulties and I had to get Sean to come to my rescue. You want to make sure that it covers up to your the bottom of your hat because this is that little white rim around your hat. So you might have to adjust your um, pipe cleaners a little bit. I'm almost done, guys. Get them all in there. That's why I like doing the most of the crafting on YouTube is because I can stop and make the adjustments necessary. But I wanted to do this one live so we make sure that anybody who wanted to make one would be able to do it by Christmas. One more. That's all my three inches. <clears throat> yes, dear? You got a question? Mm -hmm. Okay. Will you have the list of measurements and other items needed? Yes, ma'am, I will. I'll put it put my paper right on the YouTube right at the beginning of this when it comes what goes live or the live goes to YouTube, I will have all that stuff. Okay, so see? See how cute it looks? Okay, now going down the side, we're going to put four holes. Lift up your thing and go out a little bit farther than what your beard is and make four holes. You can stagger them so they'll make a a uniform piece of beard as you come down through there. And now we're going to take the six inches. Which when you fold it in half, of course, means you have three inches worth of beard. And just pull it down to where you need it to be. like a three inch and let's go on her hat this is a six inch and if you have any that are stragglers just cut them off so your beard looks uniform hello Melissa thanks Mandy Sorry it's taking so long, guys. Ouch! Crafting usually does take a lot more time than what they show you on the YouTube videos to do. Okay. 
I should have used my crocodile. I could have made a good size hole that way. But I wanted to use something that didn't cost quite so much money so everybody would have an opportunity to do it. And one more on this side. The hardest part's going to come here in a minute, guys. But we won't do all that on TV. Okay. There is his beard. Cut his little stragglers off, you know. If you're a man, you know you have little stragglers every once in a while. Got to cut them bad boys off. So see, it's coming down the side of his face. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Make four holes. Make one up near the top. And one inside a little bit. Another one inside. And then one towards the outside again. That just staggers them so that you can get the beard covered up in there real good. Boy, Tim, this beard is pretty straggly. Should have had Timmy give him a haircut. He's pretty good at it. That cut long hair all the time. Yeah, does a good job, too. I got to worry about getting my throat cut. <laughs> <laughs> is, that a, is that a comment towards my cutting, dear? Uh, no, nah, we never slow down long enough to catch each other long enough to get a haircut. Ah. What, uh, what's a crocodile? It's actually called a crop, C-R-O-P, a dial. It's a, it's... Let me show you. I think I've showed it in the other videos, but it's this thing, Christy. It's a hole puncher. You got one hole puncher on this side right here, one on this side, and then this puts snaps together. But that is the best thing. It will go through tin. It will go through plastic. It will go through wood, small wood. It's wonderful. If it's th if it's uh, like three eighths or or. A quarter inch thick, it'll go through it. So it does really good. My pipe cleaners wouldn't get all crumpled up. I could get them through there. We could get on through with this. Come on. Okay, let me just use my crocodile and make bigger holes down through here. I'll show Christy how it works. You just take it and you line it up with whatever hole you want and you do it. And it just clips it. Just that easy, sis. Just that easy. Now, you got a bigger hole to put these through. See how easy that is? That's the big one. That's, I think that's a small one. I think. Make sure I got all, all my things here. Those are the two twelves. That's the two eights. Yeah. Okay. This is the sixes. See how much better that is to go through there? I'm missing one. There it is. Okay. Now, if I didn't have that lip on the bottom, I could run through and do my crocodile on the other side. But I don't. So now we're going to go through, and there's going to be eight of them at the bottom. Right at the bottom of your face. Because you want to make sure that your beard stays in line. Just make that hole as big as you can while you're going. And here 
here is where you're going to put a 6 inch, an 8 inch, a, a 10 inch, a 12 inch, a 12 inch, a 10 inch, an 8 inch, and a 6 inch. That's what's going to go on the bottom. That's going to give it the definition of the beard because you're going to start out with a 6 inch, which... Six. That's my mustache. I think I'm going to have to make two six inches. That's two twelves, two eights, a ten. Hmm. All right. Well, let's just let's see. Here's the two. I think these are the two six inches. I'm already got myself confused two eights that's an eight inch that's the 12 inch that's a 10 inch these are these are the eight inches because that's the same size as these so I need to make two more six inches and one ten inch I know I made them I must have dropped them in the floor or something But it won't take very long. It don't take long to put them together. But I will tell you, if you're going to make this pattern, make the boards wider so you can hold on to them better. Because when you make them little like this, they're hard to hold on to. Yeah, they don't like to stay on it. Yep, make them wider, guys. Make them wider. Okay, there's the other 10 inch. We'll skip the two 6 inches, but you just, I'll put it in the thing. You'll know to put them in there. I've got two 8s, two 10s, two 12s. I must have put one of the 6 inches in the 3 inch stuff. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to go with the 8 inch. The 10 inch. The 12 inch. The other 12 inch. Wanted to see it done anyway. I missed it. Oh, okay. I didn't know that you were talking about the different inches. Yeah. Yeah, they have to have the different inches in order to make the roundness of the beard. Um, so you have a, a three inch that goes along this top up here. The, the six inches go down the beard. You could make them four if you wanted to, but since six inches seems to do pretty good. Then across the bottom, you put a six, an eight, a ten, a twelve, a twelve, a ten, a a eight and a six across the bottom that just gives you a little bit more definition oh this is it's soft at the bottom so be careful when you're poking these things in almost like I'm gonna have to get me a pair of pliers to straighten that end up of that one maybe if I put it in first And you'll have a lot more time if you're working on this than what I'm taking. So, 
you'll be able to there we go there he's in and this one short one in first and then the long one in Yeah, you cut the, the cardboard inches. You can cut them however wide you want, but I suggest strongly you cut them at least three to four inches wide. But each one of the cardboard pieces match the length of the thing that you need to wrap around it. Like, like you'll have a three-inch one, three-inch tall, a six-inch tall, an eight-inch tall, a ten, and a twelve-inch. So you'll have those... See, there's his beard. I'm going to put this one little tiny one in here to fill in that gap. Okay. So then you see you've got your Santa Claus and his beard. So, then all you've got to do is to poke a hole in the middle here, you're going to have, have to leave spaces for his eyes and his nose because this is going to be, underneath the nose, this is going to be his uh, mustache. Try to remember to get it as centered as possible, which I'm not sure that's what's going to happen with me, but, okay. Now you take the 8-inch piece that you made, and he's going to, his is going to go out instead of down okay so you take those two ends and stick them through that hole try to make your pieces of um Pipe cleaners, make sure that they match ends and make it a whole lot less difficult than what I'm having time doing because mine don't match. I wasn't paying that close of attention. There we go. Now he's going in. Now, that is his mustache. It will lay sideways. Now, on top of that mustache, I'm going to take a little dollop of glue... And put this bead right there to make his little nose. See? Make Santa's little nose. You could always take a little tiny piece of felt. They didn't say this, but you'll have little pieces of felt left over. And you could just take and make you a little, like a little mouth-like thing. And just glue it in underneath his um, mustache. It'll look like he's sticking out his tongue, but that's all right. All right, there you go. There he is. I hope you can see him. I can't see. I got words all over my screen, but I hope you can see him. Now, you can take another one with your three inch piece. And this time, I'm going to wrap it around sideways. Now, if I remember this correctly, this is how it goes. And you can do 25, 35, 45, however many you want it to be. It doesn't have to be a certain certain spot. Of course, my yarn is going to get all tangled up here. Just keep wrapping, wrapping, wrapping until it's fat as you want it to be. Because what we're going to do is make a pom-pom out of this one. 
Okay, now you'll slide it off. Be very, very careful. Go ahead, cut your thread. Be very careful sliding it off. Because this time, instead of uh, just leaving it the way it is, you're going to take and make a, a knot in the middle. Just like you did with the pipe cleaners, but you're going to cut through the loops and make a pom-pom out of it. Let me move my Santa so you can see what I'm doing. Just tie it in two or three big knots through the center, real tight, because you don't want it to come loose. All right, so there we go. Now, you want to cut off these, then cut the loops. That's what's called making a pom-pom. I never was the best at it, but... Make sure you get all the loops cut. Okay. And then you're going to scrushle it around a little bit to it looks like a pom-pom, and then cut off all the stripes. Hey, Linda. Sorry, I'm, I'm not acknowledging you guys. Um, I'd like to say hi to everybody that stopped in, but I'm trying to concentrate on not cutting my finger. But I'll try to look up every once in a while. Hey, Shay, Shay. Glad you made it, baby. Okay, now what we're going to do with this one is the very top. Of his hat. I'm going to put his down. Put a big dollop of glue right there. And put his hat down. So it's folded. And then take. The. Uh, well it fell up. Take the pom pom and stick it on the end of it. To make Santa's house hat look. And you have to hold it, because hot glue does not like to stick to felt. I've said that before. But if you do hold it in place, <coughs> hot glue will stick to just about anything. It just takes its own sweet time. Okay, so now there is the Santa Claus. All done. The only thing I don't have are his eyes. So I am just, I am not a face person. I'm just going to make two little circles. Around on either side of his eyes. Or his nose. To make Santa. And there we go, guys. Santa is done, beard and all. Hope you can see him. Now you can take and put a little hanger on him. You could put a piece of felt on the back. Oh, I was going to show you how to finish that. Inside, which is the hardest part of everything is you have to take one of your pipe cleaners. See, there's two of them right here. Okay? And you take one from the section next to it, and you twist them together. And just twist and twist and twist until they're staying together. Okay? Then you take one next one to, to the closest one to you. And just twist them. The reason that you do that is so that your beard stays in place. I'm not going to do all that on camera. I will do it off camera. But just take one of the ones from one and one of the ones from the other and twist them together. And go all the way around the inside. Then you can take a piece of uh, material and cover up all this on the back side so nobody sees that. And cover the bottom of the hat. But... Here we go. Here is our bleach bottle Santa Claus. Look at him. He's got fangs so much you can't see his eyeball. <laughs> but he does have two of them. There you go. There's my Santa. I hope you enjoyed it. So, now we're going to go on to one other thing that I found when I went to Sam's. Mandy, did you get to see the Mrs. Claus before I go on any farther? 
or Christy? Yes, I will. I'll, I'll show how to put a hanger on the back of it. It'll make it real easy to hang up on the thing. I'll put that on before I finish off with the Mrs. Claus one. Show how to put a hanger on, on the back of her. You didn't get to see Mrs. Claus? Well, don't laugh, Chris. I didn't have enough white yarn to do her hair, so I made her hair gray. Put her a little pair of glasses on. Before I finish her off, I'm going to put another little pom-pom up on her head, too. And I'm going to uh, put a little bow on her underneath her face. She's got like a little scarf on, so I'm going to put a little bow on it. But there she is, glasses and all. Okay, the next thing, guys, I just want to read real quick. I know every one of you have seen or heard the night before Christmas. This is the night before Christmas, West Virginia style. I got this over at Sands when we was over there shopping. And I just thought that was cute and would be really good to add to our West Virginia Wednesday. You can pick them up over at Sands. I'm sure they're available anywhere. But what a way to celebrate everything that you are in, in things. I mean, I'm sure that they've got them for other states. So just look around if it, you're interested. This would be cool to read to your kids. So that your kids would be um, excited for Santa to come to where they live at. That he actually knows the place. You'll be able to see the pictures. I'm going to read it upside down. So you'll be able to see the pictures as I go through. And this is just a little, if you wanted to, uh, I guess if you wanted to copy it. It says, wishing you a Merry Christmas, love from. So you could say, you know, or you could send it to somebody, a little child or something. Um, and and say, I could send it to somebody, love grandma or mom. But anyway, that's what it is. And then there's pictures. It says, um, just got beautiful little picture designs in it. It says, far, far away at the North Pole, Santa is busy planning his Christmas Eve. Journey across his favorite place, West Virginia. Okay. See, he's, he's mapping it out. He's He must not have um, Google Maps yet because he's got an actual paper map. From Martinsburg to Morgantown, from Blackwater Falls to Beckley, Santa can't wait to visit all the children on his nice list. He piles his sleigh with <clears throat> pie with a sack full of gifts <laughs> and off he goes. As Santa soars over the mountain state, he booms. Hello on, on hello to Harper's Ferry. Merry Christmas to Wheeling. And gives the Capitol Theater a great big smile. Suddenly Santa spots the most important place of all. Are you ready for me to visit your ha home? He says with a a uh, hearty chuckle. It's time to leave out a glass of milk and a place and a plate of sugar cookies. Snuggle up in your bed with your favorite teddy and listen very closely. So this would be cool to read to your kids at, at Christmas time. Of course it goes the same as it regular. It was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung on the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. You were nestled up all snug in your bed while visions of candy canes danced in your head. And from Weirton to Summersville, all across the map, children had settled down for a long winter's nap. See? And this is cute, too, if you wanted to do something. Instead of how many days until Christmas, this is how many sleeps until Santa will visit. I thought that was a cute idea. When our, when our, shoot, when out on the street there arose such a clatter, we, you sprang from your bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, you flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the <coughs> latch. The welcome to West Virginia, Santa. See, Granny wanted him to stop there. The moon in the sky with its winter glow shone as bright as midday on West Virginia below. 
when what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, you knew in a moment it has to be St. Nick. More, than rapid, more rapid than eagles, his reindeer they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blixen. Take me up to the chimney, follow my call, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. And then in a twinkling, you heard on the roof, the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. And as you pulled your... As you pulled in your head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nick came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all, all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of love he had flung on his back, and all, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. And he says, his eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry, his cheeks were like roses, and his nose like a cherry. His, his drool, droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his face, chin was as white as the snow. <laughs> that looks like our Santa Claus we just made. Oh, he's got glasses, too. I didn't put glasses on Santa. Go ahead. And he gathered... He, get, he glanced at the names that he held in his fist, children in Clarksburg and Fairmont, whom were next on his list. He had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He is chubby <clears throat> and plump, a right jolly old elf, and, laughed, and you laughed when you saw him in spite of yourself. St. Nicholas winked as an eye and... Tilted his head, letting you know you had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all your stockings with, turned with a jerk. And tapping his finger at the side of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney, he rose. And he sprang to his sled and to his team gave a whistle and all, away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But St. Nicholas exclaimed as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas, West Virginia, and to all a good night. Santa's magical journey is coming to an end. He delivered the fine gifts, final gifts on Park, to Parkersburg and Charleston, where goodbye to the Appalachian Mountains and laughs jolly ho, ho, ho for everyone to hear. The, heading back home on his cozy workshop, to his cozy workshop at the North Pole, Santa Hopes each child is extra good next year because he can't wait to come to West Virginia. I thought that was a cute little book when I bought it. So that ties our West Virginia into our thing. You want to, <clears throat> some West Virginia history if you want to oh. read it. Or if you want me to read it, that's fine. You didn't read it. <clears throat> Tim has some little things about West Virginia history that I'm going to let him read. I'll let him read it, and you, you can sit right here and sit down and read it, baby. Welcome to Timmy to the West Virginia Wednesday. Have a seat, baby. Hey, guys. How's everybody? Hope you're all well today. <clears throat> I just want to talk about something concerning West Virginia's slogan, Wild, Wonderful West Virginia. In 1969, Governor Moore used the phrase wild and wonderful in a speech at the Greenbrier. And by January 1970, the administration put the name of the state, mag changed the name of the state magazine from Outdoor West Virginia to Wonderful West Virginia. I'm planning on following up on it. The Wild Wonderful West Virginia slogan was added to the state's welcome signs in 1975 and was available on license plates the following year. It was plastered on the state's welcome signs until 1991 when Governor Gaston Caperton had this slogan removed. I haven't looked into it yet, but I think Governor Manson put up new welcome signs open for business, and 
I, w I want to look into the further into it further because he had favored readopting the wild wonderful slogan and I'm going to look into it real hard because I do love West Virginia. If you guys got any kind of idea or you know anything that uh, we don't know or I haven't found out, by all means, just go ahead and comment it. We'll be happy to do whatever it needs to be. I'm going to hand this back over to her, and I will look into this further. Uh, love you guys. See you later. He did pretty good for his first time on TV, guys. So... Ebby says, hey, Paw Paul. So he, he brought up a good point. Those are little things that we want to include in our West Virginia Wednesday stuff as we go into the year 2023. So if anybody has anything that they would like for us, hey, we could take road trips and put them on YouTube. So if you have a place that you're out of state and you're missing really hard in West Virginia, you want to see a little update on it, let us know. We'll be happy to take a road trip. We like road trips. We just ride around all over West Virginia and just look. It is a beautiful state. It is where we love to be. Um, but there's a lot of places in West Virginia we haven't been. We haven't been camping down at Golly Bridge, down at that little campground down there at Golly Bridge, which we'd like to do this year. We finally got us a camper. So I'm going to say goodbye. I think we've been on here long enough. We've, I want to wish every single one of my special K's that is watching a very Merry Christmas. I want you to look forward to see what new things we come in 2023. On the next Facebook Live, I have a little challenge for you guys coming up. So I'll give you a little teaser on that. So be sure to check in on Thursday, December the 29th at 7 o'clock. And me and Mandy will be enjoying a wonderful day of, of looking back at the year of 2022 and forward to the year of 2023. So if you have anything that you would like to add, please join us and comment, like for this video, go to my YouTube channel, comment, subscribe, share, like over there. I'm really wanting 2023 to be the year that I can go forward and make more, have more subscribers and make more quality content. So Please, just stick with us. We're going to do some thrift hauls. We're going to do some more Dollar Tree hauls. We're going to do a wide variety of everything. So, again, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Merry Until Christmas, we guys. see you guys again. Hello, guys. This is Kathy with Kincaid's Facial Creation. I'm going to do you the tutorial on making the bleach bottle Santa. There's not much directions on the internet, so I'm kind of sort of winging this. So hopefully it turns out. So our first step is to take our label off of our bleach bottle. Just take a piece of scissors and hair scissors and cut it. It'll come right off. Then you'll see right down your bleach bottle, you'll see there's a seam. Just take your marker and make it a little bigger because you're going to cut in that fashion. This side this side will become two different sides. Now, it depends on whether or not we can cut the handle directly in two. That seems to be like it's going to be a little harder. You'll probably have to use a utility knife. But once we get those in two, I'll be back to show you what we do next. Hello, guys. I'm back. Timmy cut this down for me. I said I should have showed him cutting it. But there we go. That's what it's going to look like. You're going to have two parts. I'm going to attempt to make a Mrs. Claus and a Mr. Claus out of it. So I'll bring you back as I'm working on that process. Okay, guys. I am attempting to figure these out for you. One three and a half by six and a half piece of cardboard so we can cut our piece of felt. I always like to have a pattern. So... Make my pattern. It's three and a half inches by six and a half inches. And that is going to get wrapped around the front of his face. Just like that. When I cut the felt out. Not this cardboard, but a piece of felt. Okay, so the next we have to do for the brim of the hat is a three inch 
piece of cardboard. Now, it doesn't matter how wide it is, just a three inch piece of cardboard. Of course, you're going to wrap around it. So that is our three inch piece. And then you have an eight inch piece. So it should be just right at eight inches left on this. So we're gonna do eight inches. And this is gonna be your mustache. Oops, come on board. Like I said, it doesn't matter about the cardboard pieces because they don't have to be perfect. This is just so you can have something to wrap your yarn around. Okay, so that is the 8 inch piece. Okay, now I'm going to do a 6 inch piece. And a four inch piece. And that's what I'm going to start with. And see where that takes me. Now, this is a four inch, this is a six inch. This is an eight inch and this is a three inch. Okay, so now take eight and a half and make a mark at the four and a quarter spot. Four and a quarter. So you go to the half and then the next big line back from the half is the quarter. Okay, now you're going to take and make a line from that point all the way to the to the uh, eight and a half point and that's going to make your little triangle that you need all the way from the half mark down to the bottom okay so now this is going to be eight and a half by eleven we're going to see if that'll work That'll work good on my felt because that's what size felt I got. Okay, so there we go. Now, that my trash bag I got sitting right here in my handy dandy little cart Timmy got me. Now this one is gonna have to be 10 and a half. So I will have to use this, 10 and a half, which means all you have to do is cut off a half of that. So a half inch. I got hot glue all over this ruler. <laughs> Easiest way to make sure you got a straight line is take one of those lines and put it on the edge of your paper. And then just draw it. And see, come down pretty close. Hold on, guys. Phone's ringing. I hate when there's nobody there. Anybody that's out there that needs to get a hold of me? The easiest to get a hold of me through Facebook or text messages. Okay, so this is now ten and a half, and it needs to go up the same amount so I need to put just a smidge on the back of this one so I'll use the same piece because it's not going to matter I just need 
just a little bit. That's to wrap it around so your felt will have, yeah, plenty. Okay, now we will go with this. Well, I guess we can't go with that. Let's back that up. Don't do that. Don't do it. Go from the bottom. To the top. Has to be right. Because we're right on the tip of the bottom. And then from the bottom. To the top. There we go. Now, that should fit right in. It does. Look at that. Okay. Let's cut this pattern out. This is 10 and a half by 11. But because the sheet was 8 and a half, um, I had to do it sideways to get the 10 and a half mark. So then I just added a little piece to the top. Now, if you're lucky enough to have the 11 by 14 paper, that'd be simple. You can just make this with no problem. Okay. Now, this is 10 and a half, and we may have to put it down by 11. Okay. So, see, they're going to match up. Right there. Yep. So, I guess that they wanted the... Um, a little bit of a fold over. I'm not sure. But anyway, there's the hat piece. And I think that's it. We're ready to start putting our little fella fella together. So the first thing I'm going to do is make up all these little things. But I'm going to make a Mrs. Claus first. So, because I'm going to make the Mr. Claus on the uh, Facebook Live. So I'm going to use the 8 inch because I'm going to put her hair coming down across her face and going back just like she has a bun on the back. So I'm going to use this and some gray felt. So what you do is you um Now, I'm just wondering, if I take this 8 inches, see, I got two of them, and I fold it in half. Yeah, I could do that. It's going to be, probably need to do, um, I think I got a 14 piece of felt, a board down here that I used to make my uh, stars with so I'm going to use this instead of the 8 inch for the, the uh, Mrs. Claus so let's see if this works hmm I need a something something to hold on to that okay one they say to do it 25 times boy this is going to be fun one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay, now, what you're supposed to do is to slide this off. Let me get my pipe cleaners ready. I think these are actually pipe cleaners. 
actual pipe cleaners to clean pipes with. But, hey, they will work. You pull that off your board. Come on, off the board. And then you take and you fold it in the middle. And you take your pipe cleaner and put it through the middle. And then you twist it. As tight as you can twist it. And I'm thinking, yes, that will work lovely. Alright, I'm going to make me probably three more of these and I'll be back okay guys now I have my four stacks of yarn it was just simple just wrap it around take it off fold it in half and twist your pipe cleaners or Chanel stem whichever one you call it so now we're going to um, start working on Guess I'll use my budge. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do with the six and a half by three that I did, paper that I worked on, I'm gonna draw around that pattern. And cut out the face. Okay, now I'm going to take some Mod Podge, is this one open, <laughs> no, this is a new bottle, this is another one of those bottles that my brother Stephen Johnson got me back in the summer. There we go. Now put that in the trash bag. Okay. So now, put me some Bod Podge on here. Take my paintbrush, smooth it all around so it'll pick up my felt. Sorry for the noise, guys. Make sure it's on there real good. Give it a second or two to set up. And take and put your piece of felt down over the Mod Podge, right in the center of the and smooth it out so the Mod Podge will stick. Now this is going to be the face Of Mrs. Claus. Okay, now we're going to take our pattern. I don't want to stay down. I think I'm going to have to get up my hot glue gun. Man, that's noisy. Got soaked up in that belt.
and it didn't want to stick. This is almost, not quite as bad, but almost. There we go. We'll set it aside and let it dry before we work on it anymore. And now, we are going to work on our hat. And the same process is going to be done with the hat. We're going to... I'm going to take our pattern and put it on here and take our pen and draw a piece. And then just cut it out the form of that triangle. I think these are eight and a half by nine, I mean by twelve. Okay. Save your scrap pieces of felt because you may need them. Okay. Now, for the other pattern. We're going to not have enough room, so let's see if this one is going to go around the whole thing. No, that's why you have the two pieces. That is not going to make it. Okay, so we'll have to do it the same way. Actually, guys, with this one, what you want to do is to just use the 9 by 13 sheet of paper and cut from the 9 inch all the way to the top in the triangle because that will keep you from adding that piece on, which really did not work in the long run. So just use your same 9 by 13 piece of paper that goes with the uh, felt. Now we're going to be going on to making the uh, spots that goes around the bottom of the hat with these little white uh, pom-pom things and I made the same type with the uh, like I did with the Santa Claus the hair is just a eight or an eight inch piece wrapped around and around and around but not folded in the middle this time you just took it and fixed it to the top of it and made little long braids out of it. So that'll give her her long hair. So we just keep working. Uh, you take the inside. When you bring it out through, it'll be like in a V shape. Take one half of the V of one and one half of the V of the other and, and interlap those together. That just holds it inside so you're not with your uh, Santa Claus or with your Mrs. Claus and have half your pieces fall out. So just keep uh, locking them around all the way around the inside of that. And I just took a little piece of that twine and took it and, and tied it to the bottom of both sides so both sides of the hair would stick together and not be flopping around all over the place in two different sections. I intended to pull it back so it looked like she had a bun but that didn't work. I didn't quite make it long enough for that. But this makes it look like she has a little long gray hair. And as I said before in the other video, you'd probably be better off to do hers with uh, white, just like you did with Santa Claus. But I only had enough to do the Santa Claus, so you can make whatever color you want. You can have Mrs. Claus with red hair if you want. It doesn't matter. Just keep a working with it until it comes to the uh, point that you need it to be. And there she is, face and all. Chrissy sent a message that she wanted to know how we were going to hang it. So what I did was I just took a piece of red felt and put it onto the back of the uh, thing to cover up all that 
stuff that's shining through. You won't see it because it's going to be on the back of it, but it just finishes it off. Then I tried a couple of different ways to hang it, so I decided on a paper clip. I'm just taking the paper clip, stretching it out, and where the hook is, I'm trying to get that through the hole because I'm holding my camera at the same time, so I'm like one handed it. But eventually I get that through. I have to make this just a little wider so it'll go through that hole. But uh, it just, it does work. And uh, I know I'm fiddling around with, but it's hard to do things one handed. So here we go. I finally get smart and widen it out a little bit farther and, and use more of my hand to get it in there. Okay, and then I'm just going to straighten it out and put me a big old gob of glue on it. Like I said, this is the back. A little bit more time and patience I would have been able to do, but it is really hard to get hot glue to stick to felt. So if you have that same issue, uh, it might be a good idea before you put your stuff together to go ahead and sew it on with a needle and thread. That way you already have your hanger into place before you try to put that little piece of felt on. Because it does take a long time for that pe that hot glue to cool down and those two pieces of felt to melt together. Alright guys, just want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And just keep watching, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Our channel is growing. We are doing really well. Um, but I could use your support in a, a subscription, a like, a comment. That's what all they look for. And upcoming now will be pictures uh, where I hung them on the wall of Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus. Y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching.